to oppress the economic situation of any nation depends on four approaches to education to educational planning the first approach is the cost benefit approach with a cost benefit approach the educational system is meant to find immediate benefits immediate returns either by the state or by the private actors permitted to run education in that state that's one which is not very healthy for the economy of any nation in the world because it turns to satisfy the economic individual policies and individual institutions that's one the second one is the social demand approach in the social demand approach it just simply stipulates that everybody has the right to be educated but it doesn't lay emphasis on what skills those people are supposed to be equipped with in the course of the education that's the second one the third one we have the manpower requirement approach which is the approach that has taken countries like canada usa to the highest height in the world because they consider the capacities that you who goes through school will come out to effect into any active economy or to any green economy without counting on the government this one now goes into your intro when you are starting the program this one is the best approach worldwide because people are not only trained to have certificates but people are trained to develop individual capacities and skills and what develops any nation in the world is skills no certificate we have the last one which is the social justice approach this one now we can go to the social certification story or whatsoever which just simply means some people enjoy education just because they want to elevate their social standard in the society not even people have certificate that if you have if you ask them what value of what value is this certificate they won't tell you now that said yeah, i want your go school i want your go school <laughs> i want to be quite a doctor i will have a lot of the professor phds even those we cannot verify the phds and the doctor they have them. The school. however looking at this other of all these four approaches and the appraisal of the Cameroon economy i'll be very sincere to tell you that like in other areas where president Bia has failed he has failed woefully in the domain of education because he has spent 42 years creating grammar schools everywhere ENS like the one you recently saw in Boya but somebody who wants to capitalize on the manpower requirement approach will not have been creating an ENS in Boya as of today do you know what they would be doing they would be empowering the teacher grade 1 colleges that are already there that need uh, to empower them with practical skills equipment. equipment they are already there because it's only in Cameroon that you see people who are proud that I'm from ENS I am from NSEC out of Cameroon the basic training institutions for you to be called a teacher are institutions like the, the, the teacher training colleges with one because that's the level the most difficult and the complicated level of education in the countries that are planning at planning to emerge not the ones that are dreaming to emerge like cameroon so we are not, we not planning to emerge. i said we are dreaming to emerge while others are planning and doing what takes them to emergence and how will a country emerge when the economy is not buoyant how will economy emerge when we are certificate oriented not skill oriented when the manpower approach has been lacking for 42 years so you are in, in essence you are saying that cameroon is practicing uh the social the demand social approach. demand approach that is why you discover that those who are manning the country most of them are coming from enam and from that enam we are taught how to extort from the citizens no, no, not no, to no, give to no, the no. 
<laughs> that take responsibility for no, my words. Me, they responsibility. They are taught to I am saying that <laughs> in Enam, there is no department of skills in that place. Yes, because that is different from what you said about. I am telling you agree. because <laughs> yes, that, because you know, with the earlier no, one that you there we are talking about administrators, and we all see that these administrators they don't render, they don't deliver, but we are talking about. A country that should have put in place vocational training centers dotted all over the world or all over the nation, you would have discovered that this could go a long way to mitigate okay. the complaints of Cameroonians who say mm. they don't have a job. So, in essence, before you take the microphone, I am saying that if we have failed in the educational sector, it is not still too late. We can still make amends. Creating enams or oh, departments in enams every day, common law, English, they, are, they have not been working. They will not work. Let's go back to the base where we failed. Until we go back to the base where we failed, we will keep flying on our <laughs> and on our face okay. horse, which See? will land us into the bad sea. Senior.